Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of September. Now, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and typically my readings are love readings but the monthlies, they come up as who knows what. So, you know, I'm just going to go with it. And if you are in a happily ever after relationship, this reading's probably not for you. Okay? So, this is for Aries. For September, what does Aries need to know? Ooh, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you. You may need some support. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Ooh. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Wow. Well, it looks like there's some, some kind of conversation that is needed. Sorry, I just need to take a drink. <clears throat> you may be having a hard time communicating. You know, all of a sudden my, my throat got dried up there like I couldn't speak. So I'm wondering if that was for you. You know, maybe maybe you need a friend at this time. Something like that. Aries. For the month of September, my weeklies will be focused on love. I'm going to try to change it up for my weeklies and try to get, you know, is new love coming in, blah, blah, blah. Um, that kind of thing. See what I can do, but... Let's let your friends help you. You need support. You need to have a conversation. You need to, you need, you're holding something in. That's what's going on here. Aries. Aries. Oh. Well, you guys are feeling insecure about something. You are probably gambling. You know, you're doing something. Um, it's a toss-up, what you should do. You know, heads or tails. Something's going on. There's conflict. You don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Difficult decision by the looks of things. You don't know what to choose. Ah. Oh. You're the magician, huh? You guys have the power? You have the power. You have the power to manifest whatever you want. This is also about shedding. Shedding the old to bring success to your life. Yee. Okay. So it looks like you guys are putting something to a halt. You know, you're stopping something from happening. Mm. You may be needing to take a break. Maybe you need to take a time out. It looks like that's what, what's going on here. You may be feeling a little bit overly emotional at this time. Maybe you're feeling a little bit of heartache as well. You know, she's holding her heart. Something's going on here. Something is going on here. You're shedding some old skin, so sometimes that's painful. You know, the five of pentacles is, is like you're on thin ice. You're on thin ice. About moving forward in some direction. Okay, but you're reluctant to move forward. Yeah, you're reluctant to move forward. Hmm. Okay. Ah, so, looks to me like you guys have a, a new beginning right in front of you. A big one. That You may be traveling. You may be moving. You may be scheduling some travel. You may be deciding to go down a whole new path. You know, it feels like one phase of your life, it, that's what this is. That's the outcome here. You guys are transitioning from one, one 
life to another. You know what I mean? It's like you're transitioning from one phase of your life, one project, one one time, one chapter. That's what this is. You're taking steps forward. But you're reluctant to do so. <laughs> you are. Okay, you guys are, are like... You know you need to. You know it's time. But... You're comfortable where you're at. But where you're at, it's like it's a dead-end situation. It's not fulfilling you. It's leaving you lost and empty. You're feeling empty in some way. You're not feeling emotionally fulfilled with this Knight of Cups reversed. It's like there's no emotional relationship fulfillment in that situation, whatever it is. Whether it's a relationship or it's not. You're not feeling emotionally fulfilled, but you're reluctant to move on, trying to keep things under control. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is about following your intuition, self-love. needing to be cared for there's a new opportunity waiting for you something that's very exciting looks like it looks like uh, God is handing you a, a, a new opportunity that could expand your horizons but you need to you need to focus on it you need to you need to Get on that ship. You need to make that decision to move forward. And I, but you know, I think that you've been getting prepared for this anyway. You and now the ship is here. The ship is at is like right in front of you. Are you ready to get on it? Are you ready to start this new journey? That's what this is. You have a new journey, like, right in front of you. Are you ready for it? It's exciting. I feel like you guys have held on to something and you're growing weary with holding on. You know it's time to move on with this Nine of Wands. You know it is. But you're reluctant to give up on something with a six of swords reversed, you're reluctant. You fought hard. You fought a good fight, haven't you? You have. Oh, and now it's time for you to regain your focus and your concentration and take the lead and be the boss of your own life. It's time for you to dominate your life. It's time for you to expand. To step it up a notch. To show the world who you are. To get the respect that you deserve. I feel as though there is there will be more contentment coming to your life in September than you've seen in a while. You'll probably feel a lot more confidence, a lot more happiness, a lot more strength than you felt in a while. Because it looks to me like you guys you guys have a new opportunity being presented to you. You do. But you're scared of it. You are a little bit scared of it. You need to find the strength and the courage to move forward. The, you have the power. The power is in your hands, Aries. You have the power to be the boss, to rise above. Okay, to rise above the rest. Maybe to strengthen the foundation that you're in. Or to have a new commitment if you're, if you're single. Okay? 
because there's this five of cups there's a there's an emotional loss here but there's also a new opportunity something that you have been very conflicted about with these fives you've been very conflicted you've been having some power struggles There may be some unexpected events that have popped into your life that have caused a little bit of, you know, caused you to go backwards a little bit. But I feel as though you guys are going to regain the momentum that's been lost and you're going to move right back up. I see you guys mastering your emotions and bringing success to your life. I see I see travel as well. So you guys are going through some sort of, of transformation that may include some some traveling. It may include some um, events. You know, you may be going to some events, and you may be even being recognized because this is a very honorable person. Which is represented by you. I mean, this is an Aries. I think that you you could be honored this month for your strength. For your knowledge. For your skills. For your success. Son of a bitch. So anyway, I see. I feel like you guys are... definitely bringing success to your lives and it's being recognized however that resonates with you you could be going to some gatherings okay where you're recognized by other people you know and they're like they really look up to you people look up to you they do i can see that they do they see your strength they see your perseverance as well you are a very strong individual <laughs> you are you know, but you've been faced with some blocks along the way. Okay, you have. But you've overcome them. I think that you guys are making solid decisions to release heavy burdens, to release baggage, to make conscious changes in your life. I'm smiling. This is really good. You guys are dropping some heavy weight whether it's physical weight or it's weight that's been holding you down. Something that you've been holding you back. But I think that you are making the decisions to just let it go. And I feel like you guys have been... Maybe you guys have been dealing with some karma. Okay? With the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice Reverse. Some, some karma. But I feel as though now... And maybe things have been have seemed a little unfair. Maybe things have seemed a little unfair. But whatever this is, whatever this justice is reversed, I believe that you're moving out of that phase. You are. You are. Whatever this is, this karmic lesson, karmic lesson is probably, it's being released. Because you guys are taking the lead. You're ma Seriously. You guys are mastering your emotions in a very big way. You guys are in control. Disciplined. And therefore, you're receiving something, a new beginning, a major one, major. And it's a transformation. It is. You guys may be turning away from family. You could be turning away from family feuds. You, may, you could be turning away from moving home even with these cards and this card. Maybe you're just getting the hell out of Dodge. You know, I'm done. I'm out of here. See ya. Bye. You know, I'm I'm done. These are these are endings. These are letting go. Completions of things that this is a very heavy burden, and this is something that is no longer stable and secure. Walking away. Yeah, you guys are walking away from something. Leaving something behind that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. It doesn't serve you. And the time is now. In September, you guys are going to be bringing more success to your life. You're shedding your old skin and you're becoming a new you. There is. There is. This is what this is. 
and I see a lot of victory and success and recognition and or being recognized by the public or by people that haven't recognized you in the past could be you could be recognized by a boss or recognized by somebody I see that you guys are being recognized for your strength Jeez, some curl. Look at the tens. Ten, 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 ten. Basically a ten. You've got like the world is, a, is the last card. So major completions in your life. Completion, 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 completion. Five times. Completion, 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 completion. It's done. The end. It's over. One phase of your life is done. Done, 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 done. And maybe now it's time for you to take a time out and reflect on what you've learned. Maybe you decide to seriously take a break and, and just focus on what the next step is. Where are you going next? It's a time of introspection where you become enlightened to like a new consciousness that's what this is and there's a new partner as well new partnership maybe it's divinely guided Sevens are a number from heaven. That's what I noticed first. But this is a need to defend yourself, to stand up for what you deserve, to stand up for what is right, to stand up for what you want. And stop holding on to something. You guys have been resisting this transformation for some time. You have. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, knowing it was coming. You did. I see that you were getting prepared for it with that three of wands up there. You were getting prepared. You knew this was coming. But you didn't want to deal with the conflict. <laughs> You don't want to deal with the conflict of change, you know. Change is scary. Um, don't hesitate to set boundaries if you need to. I believe that there is, maybe there's a message coming in or a message that you're giving, whatever the case is, that is undesirable. It may hurt but or it may sting. Something could happen that stings a little bit. But it, it, it pushes you forward to release. It helps you to make that decision to, to shed, to move on, to stop fighting whatever it is that you've been fighting with that real reverse. It's like, you know, you could receive some information that pisses you off or hurts or whatever. There's so many people watching this that just pushes you over the edge and says, goodbye, adios, see you later. I'm better off on my own. I'll take care of business. I see a lot of abundance. I see a lot of security. I see you guys enjoying things. Enjoying the finer things. You may still feel a little down. You may feel a little uncomfortable with this these changes, but overall, I mean, even the sun in reversed is happiness. Your health may have gone downhill a little bit because of this situation that you've been stuck in. You know, when you try to control it, sometimes it, it brings you down, it steals your energy. So you may lack a little bit of energy at this time. Mm 
<laughs> it feels as though maybe you've been robbed of energy. Maybe you've put up a wall. Maybe you're hiding behind a wall. Maybe you're hiding behind a wall to protect yourself from a partnership. But you want to go back. You want to go back to somebody, Aries? No. Or maybe you just you're afraid of love, period. You're afraid of a partnership, so you're hiding. Because there's a new opportunity waiting for you. There is. There is. But you may be protecting yourself. <laughs> yes. Yes, somebody is, is uh, clinging to the memories of the past. And those memories of the past are keeping them in hiding from allowing love to, to come in. So I feel like there's a new partnership here waiting for you to show your face. But this past, this memories of the past, this is clinging to the past. Time to be practical. Take your time. Nothing needs to be done overnight. Whatever this is, there's been some suffering and there's been some grief and there's been some sorrow. And there might even still be some heartache as you your strength. Okay, your strength is being tested. Your strength is being tested. You know, real suffering brings true growth. And I feel as though you guys have been have been betrayed. You've been maybe you've been cheated, maybe you've been lied to from somebody in your past. And it, it's time to drop that sword. Drop that barrier. Let go of the regrets. Let go of the heartache. Let go of the hurt. And take baby steps forward. Anyway. There's an opportunity for love here this month. For you Aries. Because I feel like you guys are working on shedding the old, shedding this hurt, shedding this heartache, finding the strength and the courage to persevere and to rise above it. I see you guys probably, you could be traveling. Either way, whatever's happening, there's success coming and there's recognition for all the hard work that you have done. There's no doubt about it. There's also an opportunity for love, for if I haven't said it, which I, because I say so much I can't remember what I said. Somebody is making the decision to take control. After thinking about it for way too long. Three of Swords. This is hurt, heartache, pain. Pain after betrayal from the past. Somebody's betrayed you in the past. And it looks like now you guys are making a firm decision to perhaps cut them out. Dude could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. All of them. They're all here. On the bottom, there's going to be a wake up call. <laughs> okay, there is. There's going to be an event, 
There's going to be a shake-up. There's going to be a happening. There's going to be a rude awakening that pushes you over the edge in September. This rude awakening is going to allow you more success than you can even fathom. It's going to be an absolute blessing in disguise. It's going to help you to move on from something that really hurt you. It's the answer to your prayers. It's going to give you strength. It's going to force you to use your strength. And whatever happens when this rude awakening comes out, you're going to pass the test. You're going to come out victorious. You're going to come out as the honorable, noble victor in this situation. There's an opportunity for a new partnership, whether it's love or work, that is going to bring you success. A lot of success here. In completions. You guys are completing one cycle and you're starting a new one. And that old baggage is going bye-bye. The past is going bye-bye. It is. It is. Whatever you've held on to that has been causing you all this hurt is, is out of here. It's ending. It's going. Because you're deciding. You're making the decision to let it go. And the universe is helping you. Okay? The universe is helping you because it's too much unbalance. There's too much... There's too much imbalance. There's there's too much uh, disharmony in that situation. It's never going to change unless this tower comes out and pushes it. You can't escape it. <laughs> Even though, you know, you can't. You can't escape it. Even though you may have been trying to escape it. Even though you were prepared for it. Sometimes we like to escape things even though we're prepared. Or we've been preparing. You know, I think you guys have been preparing for this transformation. You have. You've been preparing for these changes. You've been preparing for this transition and release. But fear of the unknown is always... It always prevails until this shit happens. And then when this shit happens, there's no choice but to be strong. So be prepared to find that strength that's buried in front, inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can get a card here. Crossing bridges. Oh, yes, you are. I love it. I do. I really, really do. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. We just got done talking about this, didn't we? <laughs> you guys are crossing that bridge. I know you are. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. Son of a bitch, they do this for me all the time. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds <laughs> in people and situations. <clears throat> And see, I, I haven't had this problem at all. I haven't. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it all go. Is there anything unresolved in your life? Take steps to restore and reconcile. You may even need to burn your bridges behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself. Help others traverse bridges in their lives. The sacred traveler wants you to know, when the traveler crosses a bridge, a new land awaits on the other side. You guys are, I told you traveling, didn't I? 
The shit is about to get real. Oh, God. When the traveler crosses a bridge, a new land awaits on the other side. You are ready to cross a bridge or bridge a gap in your life. There are times to step away from certain people and situations. There are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places, and then go forward. This is one of those powerful healing times to choose. Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Remember I said transformation. Forgive, let it go. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. Remember we had the Ten of Wands reversed. I said about letting go of that baggage. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or release completely. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. You just summed up my whole reading. It does it all the time. I'll talk to you for the weeklies.